Good morning and welcome to the party. Uh, stationary engineer training here. Um, we've been talking about water treatment and we're going to be talking about <clears throat> internal boiler water treatment for this video. Internal boiler water treatment is the treatment of boiler water through direct addition of chemicals into the boiler to prepare the boiler water for optimal operation. Internal treatment is used to control pitting, scale, and caustic embrittlement. All oh, that's very true. Great definition. Um, I'll run through it one more time. Internal boiler water treatment treatment of boiler water through direct addition of chemicals into the boiler to prepare the boiler water for optimum operation. Internal treatment is used to control, prevent, uh, control, prevent pitting, scale, and caustic embrittlement. So, I mean, that's spot on. I don't think much more needs to be said. Uh, adding caustic soda Moving on, adding caustic soda and phosphate to the boiler water can prevent scale formation by changing calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate into non-adhering sludge. The sludge is then removed from the boiler by using the blowdown valves or doing a bottom blowdown. Um, you know, most of you are familiar with bottom blowdowns. Um, it's a normal routine uh, or PM on uh, preventive maintenance on any on most boilers unless they don't unless it's a package boiler where many blow down themselves um, the boiler itself blows down itself there's n no operator physically going to f open a valve slowly um, either by hand, by remote, or by control system. Um, so adding caustic soda and phosphate to the boiler water can prevent scale formation by changing calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate into non-adhering sludge. So non-adhering sludge is the important part. The non-adhering sludge can easily be removed from the boiler through a blowdown, um, and the sludge is then removed from the boiler using the bo bottom blowdown valves in the proper series. Moving on, heating feed water before it enters the boiler helps prevent corrosion because heating removes most of the carbon dioxide and oxygen from the water. Sodium sulfite is often added to remove any remaining oxygen from the water. So great information, perfect. Um, I mean, not more needs to be said. Heating feed water before it enters the boiler helps prevent corrosion because heat removes the carbon dioxide and O2 from water. Um, sodium sulfite is added to remove any remaining oxygen in the water. Um, moving on to bottom blowdown. Uh, bottom blowdown is the process of removing water um, from the bottom of a boiler in order to remove impurities from the water. In addition, bottom blowdowns can be used to control the concentration of contaminants in the water and to drain the boiler for cleaning and inspection. Uh, surface blowdowns uh, is the process of removing water from a boiler near the normal operating water level, the NOWL. This is an acronym, NOWL, normal operating water level. Learn it, know it. Um, to control the quantity of impurities in the remaining water or to remove a film of impurities on the surface of the water. As we spoke about either earlier in this video or another video this morning because they, I get my content um, confused whenever I'm making multiple videos, 
um, we did talk about um, how these are all things in our water that we do not want. Slud, um, well, sludge is okay, but um, uh, oxygen, carbon dioxide um, are what causes a lot of the pitting the scale that causes the pitting that ca and caustic and brittlement so these things are all so bad for the water and again can lead to serious problems maintenance issues with the boiler or deterioration breakdown um, even a shutdown of the boiler if it's left unattended and not properly um, repaired by a certified technician. Uh, surface blowdown is the process of removing water from a boiler near the normal operating water level to control the quantity of impurities in the remaining water or to remove a film of impurities on the surface of the water. Continuous blowdown is the process of continuously draining a small controlled amount of water from a boiler to control the quantity of impurities in the remaining water. Automatic blowdown is the process of automatically controlling the amount of boiler blowdown in order to maintain the level to total dissolved solids at the given set point. Automatic blowdown controls the frequency and duration of a continuous blowdown operation. All absolutely true, very well put, um, but we can run through these definitions again. Bottom blowdown, uh, process of removing the impurities from the water, um, surface blowdown, process of removing uh, impurities in the water, uh, the film of impurities on the surface of the water, um, continuous blowdown is a process of a small draining controlled amount of water from the boiler continuously um, to keep impurities low. Automatic blowdown is a process of automatically controlling the amount of boiler blowdown in order to maintain the level of a or a, an acceptable level of uh, TDS at any at the given set point so you're gonna have different set points depending on what your boiler facility application is um, moving on more blowdown accessories commonly include lines tanks separators heat recovery systems and flash tanks um, I mean this reinforces how important uh, blowdowns are. Um, blowdown accessories commonly include lines, of course, tanks, separators, heat recovery systems, and flash tanks. Um, we can go into a deep dive on a different video on almost each one of those subjects. I mean, lines are lines, lines are pipe, um, Tanks are tanks, separators are separators, uh, HR systems, the heat recovery systems are generally for HRT boilers, um, and flash tanks, all those we can go into a deep dive. Right now we are just talking about water treatment and the importance uh, and the accessories of um, needed or uh, commonly included with boiler packages. A final item is the blowdown tank. is a vented tank that cools blowdown water and steam to protect sewer water lines from the higher pressure and temperatures of blowdown water. A blowdown heat recovery system is equipment that is installed to reclaim heat that is normally lost during continuous blowdown. Um, and so if they're doing continuous blowdown, a heat recovery system is installed. Um, so a blowdown tank is a vented tank that cools blowdown water, cools blowdown water and steam to protect the sewer line from the 
high pressure and high temperatures of our blow down water and a blow down heat recovery system is equipment that's installed to reclaim heat that is normally lost during continuous blow down isn't it great how all the equipment uh, basically is just uh, a definition of exactly what it does a blow down heat recovery system is equipment that is installed to reclaim heat that is normally lost during continuous blowdown. So, I mean, that's um, one aspect to simplify and break down learning things in the stationary engineering world or learning about boilers is, um, you know, just keep, keep, it, keep it simple. And yes, a lot of the definitions, a lot of the um, parts are basically named for the application or perform performance that they that they are being used for so it can be it's almost oversimplified um, just a just a note I you know my in my opinion so that's enough this morning on uh, internal boiler water treatment um, I hope that uh, you're able to gain some knowledge about internal boiler water treatment. Thank you for sharing this time. Please share, like, and subscribe. If you feel free to uh, contribute for the creation of this content or to just support my work, um, there are links below to an Ethereum, usually, or Bitcoin address. And there's also a Coinbase affiliate link. So if you want 10 free bucks from Coinbase and signing up with Coinbase and cutting, if you're cutting your teeth on crypto, uh, which is a whole nother channel, I would have to say. And there are many, many people that uh, can cover that information better than I can. Um, it's already a, a crowded space to get into. Um, however, if you are interested in crypto information, I can point you in the right direction as far as some channels that I subscribe, like, and follow, and have followed for many years. Just let me know in the comment section below. Uh, this video is running a little long, and I'm getting tired of hearing myself talk, so I will uh, catch you in the next video.